Welcome back to another episode of See the Little Things. We are back in Greece again for real this time, where the sun shines bright and the water is bluer than ever. Remember what happened in the last episode? Well, we fixed the water strainer that Alex broke himself, picked up Alex's dad in Athens where we fixed the unraveling stitching of our bimini, wobbled our way down to an island called Nice Spati and broke a sail slide on the way. All in all, a good week for Blue, I'd say. This week we explore the island Hydra, where, are you going? where they prefer donkeys over cars and where cats rule the day. The harbour of Hydra is very picturesque and small and therefore fills up quickly. So we decided to take the easy way out and moor up in Ermione on the mainland and take a ferry ride over to Hydra. Actually, the small harbour thing is just an excuse. We just really wanted to see what 20 knots on a boat feels like. That's a different life. It's pretty fast. It's a ferry. It's a regular ferry. We're filming a regular ferry ride. Compared to what we do, it's just so different. Yeah, it is. We arrived late in the afternoon and only had a couple of hours to explore this beautiful place. I fell in love with it immediately and wish we could have spent a bit more time on this island. They have old castle like ruins you can just walk through and climb. I'd like to climb all the way up though, or go over there. Depending on your agility and climbing skills. Where are you going? Up. Where's the waterfall, baby? Oh my god, he's landing. <laughs> this is crazy. Abandoned houses in Hydra? Come on, I'm holding this up. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Very, very gentleman-like of you, very much. Appreciate it. Are you looking for food? No, you're looking for food. There are cute restaurants everywhere with cats. Just because you don't have your own cat. I know. At least I have my own cat. I have you. But do you want to have a Greek salad? Do you want to share a Greek salad? You want to share a good set? And they don't have any cars or scooters on the island, but use donkeys or big wheelbarrows to move things around. The view on top of the hill is magical, and to top that all off, the cats really do rule the day here, making it a very special place. I got so distracted by all that furry cuteness that I actually totally forgot to film the town. Do you all just want some attention? Right? So beware, here comes some cat material instead. And then it was almost time to go again and get on that crazy fast ferry. Next time we come here, I definitely stay longer. If you ever get the chance to visit Hydra, I promise you it will be totally worth it. We enjoyed our last moments on this magical island by watching a beautiful sunset from the fortress and then it was really, really time to head back to Ermione. The 
next day we motored up to this beautiful bay at the south end of the island Spetses. It is a popular island for charter boats starting in Athens and you can see why. It is absolutely stunning. We got lucky and found the bay that was empty. With amazing blue water, many rocks to tie up our landlines, no swell to keep us up at night, and our friends were already there waiting to take our lines. We only stayed for one night and picked up our anchor again the next morning, but not without enjoying some swimming first. With Alex's dad on board, we wanted to sail as much as possible and show him as many beautiful places as we could possibly jam into two weeks. Well, who would have thought that would happen? Me. I thought that would happen. The water is so clear again. Look down. Look there. It is in Fadibra. We're within again. We're going to a town called. And uh, we are going to fix our mainsail. Uh, one glider broke. So we need to figure out how to fix that because it's sewn into the sail and it's not clipped. Uh, we're gonna pull up anchor soon and then leave this beautiful bay. That's the Peloponnese, on which we will probably sail down in a few more days. Zin is leaving and so are we. Fire up the engines. Okay. We're going. Still leaking? Yeah, still leaking. That's fine. It's not too much. The belt is fine. Oil is full. The water filter's not broken? The water filter's not broken. Great! Today. We're sailing, woohoo! <laughs> We're going very slowly. What are you doing today? I am updating our logbook because we're a bit behind. If you're honest, do you prefer this or the kind of sailing we did when we came from Athens down? Um, this. It's nice. What happened when we came from Athens? Well, we had wind from the back, but a lot of swell and it wasn't enough wind. So the main and the Genoa jived all the time. We couldn't really do a downwind sail. So now this is almost downwind with no waves and no wind and that kind of works. At least it's relaxing. Yeah. 
It's Sunday. We need to get our stuff on Monday. I think you ought to know I'm feeling very depressed. Yeah, just a stopover. You want to go north or do you want to go around the Peloponnese right away? Nafplion is supposed to be really nice. I kind of want to see Nafplion then if it's nice. Okay. But also because we have south winds the coming days. Yeah, let's just do that. So going south it's hard with south winds. It means motoring 30 nautical miles, no fun. Yeah. So where are we going? Well, apparently we're going to Nafplion. I can see the excitement in your face. <laughs> You can thank the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation for building robots with GPP. What's GPP? Genuine people personalities. I'm a personality prototype. You can tell, can't you? Can't wait. <laughs> We're about to enter the bay. The wind died down completely. We're gonna throw anchor and on Monday continue our journey. It's a nice private island right in front of the entrance. And they have long! Oh, look how blue the water is! Oh my god! Hey, look! Hey. People are trying! Should be fine now. We might be dragging because the wind is not coming from the west and it was coming from east before, so we dug her in, anchor in the other way around. That's why Alex is checking now. I think I got all the mosquitoes. Been looking for 10 minutes now. Killed four. I just killed about ten. The only good thing about the winds is that when they're this strong, there's no more mosquitoes. Let's hope for the best. It's a strange place here. I'm gonna look for a few more mosquitoes and then sleep again because it's four. I could still use a couple hours of sleep. Good night. This week we would like to thank our new patron, Jack Iberlein. I hope I pronounced that right. A huge thanks for believing in us. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe for more Greece adventures and we'll see you next week.